Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube Officer channel. Today I am showing you again and I will teach you how to make a scrolling sliders image without um, any effects. So uh, let's get started. The first we're gonna add some uh, source of video or image by clicking here and you can uh, even select all the image that you want to add. So now I'm going to click on like that and the next step we're going to choose on the split screen here. So go ahead and click on split, split screen and then you choose two mix here. So now drag it like this to the timeline and you will something that look like one and two like this. It uh, simply we going to drag the mix that we want to add to this place not a timeline so and when really you click on that and you're gonna increase size of them so now you're gonna increase the size like this and the next video is um, you're gonna increase size too to make it uh, fit uh, and you can also drag it to be a smaller like this but I'm not gonna do so so you can adjust it by yourself or the, do something more by yourself if you like. And after you uh, have already doing this, you will see the wise line just separate between uh, the other pictures. And after that, you're going to click on snapshot here. So click on that to save. And and the next one we're gonna add more splitter so now go to the last frame of the video by pressing in key on the keyboard and now we're gonna go to split screen again and add one more thing and uh, this one we're gonna put it with the others image so uh, now we're gonna add it like this okay it looked like uh, 2012 of the video here and the next is we're gonna add uh, this place also and now um, okay now we're gonna add some place here okay and now we're gonna click on this one again to save a screenshot and the next time is we're gonna add one more you can even add more and more and more if you like it but in this video tutorial I will show you only three snapshots that completely work together so the next step we're gonna go to uh, and click OK and go to split screen again and add one more image like this and uh, you choose you can do it uh, step by step if you want so now I'm gonna click on this one here okay this picture I have been it is my picture that I have been um, became a monk in 2022 so that is not to worry about it so this is me and uh, okay so do not to worry about that Okay, now <coughs> it is in Kampong Jam province here. Okay, and now the next is we're gonna click on snapshot again, and now we get three snapshot. Just scrolling down like this, you see one, two, and three here. And if you want to do more shows, so you can add it by yourself for more. And after that, you're gonna do is delete all of this split screen and uh, uh, delete all and keep all only the snapshot here and delete all uh, every image on the top here. So you can delete it, but uh, if you are having a some small part of the image, you don't need to delete it because uh, it is not important to make you confuse about that and now after that uh, we have already the snapshot here it is three snapshot 
And now we're going to go to colors and select the simple color that makes sure that uh, it is completely the same to um, the the lines circle inside the video in snapshot inside the photo in snapshot. Say so, so you need need to select the color lines the same to this to make uh, the background. And now the first we're gonna add uh, your image, drag it like this. So now after you have been already at this, we're gonna click on the uh, click on uh, uh, the image, and then you're gonna click on add here, and then drag. Uh, sorry, and now we're gonna delete it. Now we you're gonna drag it to uh, the first points of the this one and then scrolling this to the end of this point of it makes so now we go scrolling it to the ends and then drag it to the ends of this place to the end part of this place this is for the first one that uh, you should to do this and you will see the yellow um, the green lines here it uh, appearing that something is look like this and then click OK and now we're gonna start to play by uh, go to the first place and starting to play what is the image look like here okay now it working the image is running like this and the next step we're gonna click on um, we're gonna add some uh, more with O so Make sure that you have uh, put the image from the start thing point like this. Put this image, and you see you have uh, uh, on this place in the middle, and make sure that your image is running starting from this place. And now we're gonna add uh, one more like this. When you add one more, so make sure that you have. Uh, do the same that the book click on that and then scroll it to uh, make it similar to uh, this place so it look like this place and then uh, we're gonna start to see before we add keyframe you make sure that you have to see uh, the ending point of the of the first image is starting from here so now now, now you're gonna see the first image is starting to the ending point of this one, and now we're gonna start to drag this one to be fit on this place like this. Okay, like this. To keep something that he will hold inside it. When you drag it like this, you will see that something is not too much long to. Uh, to the image because it is in the middle of the image and now the next step that we're gonna do is double click on it if you are in the outside of the path and then starting to drag it to the end of the image frames so the last frame is already gone but this one is not yet gone to the ending place so make sure that you have to drag it to the ending place also to make it fit. It look like this. And now you have two keyframes now. One is starting to follow the number one and the number two. Uh, the second is starting. Uh, the second is starting to um, disappearing in the screen. So it can be separate between this one and this one. And now I'm gonna click OK, and now go to start and play again. Is what is happening now? And you can see all it make is running like this. And the last, <coughs> sorry. And the last one we're gonna do is uh, we focus on the second image that is starting. When it is starting, it should be starting from this place. And now we're going to add um, this place. And make sure that you have uh, drag it to the first up frame here. It looks like here. 
don't worry about this black hole because uh, the background is uh, uh, limited from this play. So make, make sure that uh, you are using your arrow key to make it fit and you can adjust it by yourself if you want. And now we're gonna double click on that image again and then click on add. And then you start to scrolling down what is the ending of this image to make it uh, look like it is a uh, look like fitting and then here we're gonna starting it to the ending the same from this place and now we're gonna click OK and the next step is we're gonna add one more frame to the second one so now go to the end of the frame here the first uh, the the third one we talk about the third one so the third one it should be disappearing on this place so now we're going to start to add again because the first one is we already add with uh, something that look like um, it is following from the second so now we're going to click on add here and then drag it to the ending of the frames for the third image and then starting to scroll it like this and this okay and now everything is done and we see this keyframe here uh, um, you have you see this keyframe is uh, look like this so now let's get start to play it from the first one to uh, the second one like this and now you see everything is working perfectly but the background is still in the black so now I'm gonna drag background to fit the upper image and the lower image like this okay now let's get start and play again now you can see it everything is working perfectly now and uh, if you see something that have more <coughs> bigger hole, wide hole like this, you need to adjust it by yourself by uh, re-editing with the keyframe to make it uh, um, fit to the last frame and the the ending of the frames. So I hope you guys understand about how to make a scrolling and make an you can also even add some effects here on um, <coughs> okay you can also make it to blur to uh, anywhere anything that you want to so now I'm gonna just an example like this and you will see something that is look like uh, everything is look like this so it look like an old TV mode here so and okay and you can also even add anything that you want to there are a lot of frame here and okay uh, this one is should be good for the photo so now i'm gonna check it out okay it's working good now so thank you for watching my video tutorial please subscribe red or comment below if you have any problem